Hello, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, another little way AI is going to make your life worse. The AI hyperscalers have a big problem getting power for all the new data centers they want to build. Sam Altman from OpenAI is making mouth noises about 17 gigawatts of new data centers in the next year and 250 gigawatts by 2033. To get all of this power quickly enough, Altman's going to need gas power, but the big power plant gas turbines are backordered for years. There's a quick way though. It's small gas turbines that used to be jet engines from aeroplanes. Landon Tesna from Pro Energy says, quote, We have sold 21 gas turbines for two data center projects amounting to more than one gigawatt. Both projects are expected to provide bridging power for five to seven years, which is when they expect to have grid interconnection and no longer need permanent behind the meter generation. Unquote. So you'll have 20 jet engines screaming next to your house and pumping out nitrous oxide but just for a very temporary five to seven years. It's fine. One of these jet engine generators makes about 48 megawatts, which is enough for one small data center, or for a small city of 20 to 40,000 households. But who cares about households? Jet engines are famously not quiet, with delightful screeching high frequencies. Inside the power plant, the sound can be 120 decibels. With some serious acoustic work, they can get that down to 50 decibels at 220 metres away, 40 decibels if they're absolutely forced to. OpenAI is getting into these jet engine generators already. The first Stargate project data centre is on Oracle's site in Abilene in Texas. Stargate is deploying 30 of these generators as backups. Local residents in Abilene are not delighted at the noise the bright lights all the time, the pollution, and the sudden traffic jams. The city gave Oracle a huge property tax cut for, allegedly, 357 jobs. At some point in the future. Probably. The Abilene data centre also uses a tonne of water in the middle of a desert. The actual residents of Abilene are on two-day-a-week water restrictions, because we can't interrupt the data centre, you know. This is even as the data center claims its water runs in a closed loop. This isn't just the future of AI data centers, this is the present. XAI's data center for Grok is already making life a misery in South Memphis, with 35 little gas generators and another 90 planned. That'll be you next, your town. And you thought Bitcoin miners were bad. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you know someone who's your local city troublemaker, send them this episode so they have this on their radar as trouble they're going to have to fight against as hard as they can. It's the end of the month, so I am asking you, my dear friends, to please support Pivot to AI. Our work is funded by you, the viewers and listeners. The best way to support all of this is to drop just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. Or, if you're on YouTube, second best is hit the join button below the video and tell your friends to support Pivot too. Thank you all. I could not do this without you. See you tomorrow and bye for now.